it is quite rare for any YouTuber to give you a tour of their studio or filming place or room or house or whatever without first going and tidying everything, hiding the mess, the dirt, the grit. But I'm going to do the exact opposite in this video today. The reasons should be obvious to you. If it's not, stay tuned. I'm going to explain to you throughout the video and also at the end of the video. And we're going to keep this in one shot. I may put some, you know, editing on top of it, maybe like B-roll or some uh, titles. But otherwise, this is going to be a very real video. Stay tuned. Hilim Tags, my name is Ash from Hilim Tech. If we're meeting for the first time, usually I want to help you develop a better relationship with technology. So find the subscribe button, click on the bell icon to go from newbie to techie. Also, Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Use them to help out the channel. All right. Now that's out of the way, let me grab the camera from off the tripod. Okay. And I'm going to give you a tour of the place. Now, I'll try to keep this as steady as possible because I know sometimes it can get a bit funny. First of all, I'm going to show you where I was filming from. So this is a tripod I bought from Amazon. I will include some tech stuff in there and also the future of the channel. And I'm usually, well not usually, but there is a huge window which should be quite handy when it comes to filming next to a decent source light. I don't make much use of it. I'm going to have to start. But I will do a review of this tripod at some point because it is a video tripod, all right? But first of all, I'm going to show you where I'm located, so we'll go outside. And as you can see, I am right next to a train track, which I kind of, you know, like the sound, except for when I'm filming, it disturbs me. And uh, I'm in the back of my kind of work area. There's a few other studios. To the right, next door, there is actually a factory. And if you can see, this is an exhaust and it gets quite loud when they are operating between Monday and Friday, but I'll explain later. So let me just step out of the studio so you can have a little look. And this is where I am. This is where we're going to go in. Let me just walk through. And uh, as we go in, you can see there's a huge ceiling. It's kind of an empty space. Upstairs is a mezzanine, which is about 180 square foot. Down is about 270, so altogether 450 square foot, all right? So let me close the door and we start showing you my mess. We're going to start with here. That's my uh, jumper, whatever you want, and my shopping bag. Down here we have a 40-inch TV LG, which is meant to be repaired. I'm not sure it's worth it. I'm still trying to assess it. Someone gave it to me because they did not want to spend money on it. Uh, some CFL light bulbs, me shoes, and me slippers. Maybe some phones that need to be repaired, which I do not repair. A free potentially laptop bag which is also like a carry case which I might give away a coffee grinder which is a bit stuck and I need to kind of clear it all right to my right down here I mean this lovely old case is my sleeper PC case in which holds my previous AMD FX 8350 it has featured on the channel and this is also going to be used this year to show why maybe the AMD FX 8350 is still possibly a gaming contender for 2020 games, but we will do this after the Steam sales in June, hopefully. And uh, in this bag, there is an actual uh, old uh, MacBook, which is destroyed. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. We'll come to that later. Now, at the bottom here, I have two coolers. Uh, I actually have two of each, the Cooler Master Hyper 103 and Hyper 212, which both is brand new unboxed, and I meant to redo a previous video tutorial in a better way. And then the other one, I will probably do a giveaway. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. This is my older printer, which is dead now after seven years. So I've reached out to Brother, and they've given me another laser printer kindly in exchange for a review. This is coming up. This is the L2530 DW DCP. Okay. In this lovely box, there are some previous cartridges for the old printer, which again, I might do a giveaway if someone wants to use it because this printer scanner still works perfectly fine. In there, there is some stand, which I got for free for background radiator. I've also shown you the upstairs, haven't I? Yeah, it's huge. That's my mezzanine floor. A crappy, dirty, 
um, table that you can open, you know, those flexi tables. And I'm sure you recognize these 16 laptops which are meant to be for repair, which we will need to pick a winner soon. So if you haven't done this, go watch the video. I will put link above and in the description. Someone will make use of them. If no one does, I don't really want to repair them. So I'm hoping one of you will help out to get rid of them. A light stand which for some reason someone threw out on the streets. Nothing was wrong with it. The only problem was a fuse was missing in the plug which I changed and I use it for my light sometimes. And this is a Dell all-in-one PC. A client left it with me for about a month now. I've called him. He knows what's the problem with it because I've already assessed it but he's not bothered to come and pick it up or tell me what to do uh, to repair or not. So we might end up possessing this which means i will give you a tutorial on how to upgrade this how to use it and who knows another giveaway <laughs> okay now guys ethically this towel belongs to a hospital from one of our various hospital visits and it was left in our bag uh, and we found it when we went home we never bothered returning it should we you tell me I'm not too sure whether they would want it now because it's probably got a lot of more bacteria than one we got it from the hospital. Okay. Uh, got a little mirror here and some boxes from my previous parts for PC. Some chairs which I used to use for my after school club for Arabic language. This is part of the IKEA Freddy desk. The review is on the channel which I have dismantled because I'm using it as my top down filming which is upstairs. I'll show you later. And I do have some sort of shower and bathroom here which is not very clean right now and I will need to clean this and then of course we have my lovely kitchen area which is dirty again I told you I would leave the grid in fact I may or may not have potentially purposefully put even more dirt just to show you the dirt I don't know why anyway so now this guys we will do videos on this in the future. This is not Nescafe. This video is not being sponsored. But in there contains fresh roasted coffee, which I buy from Amazon at the moment. I will put a link below. And I'm going to tell you that this is what keeps me awake uh, in the morning, uh, obviously at night as well when I'm not trying to sleep. But something of a miraculous property of this, if you drink fresh roasted coffee, there's a potential that if you have migraine, it will treat it instantly and I mean instantly I've been testing it with one um, patient I will call them patient but I need more subject and I will make a video on this I do it with a French press usually okay um, this is a fridge because this is a tech channel this is electronic so this is a fridge and that's a bin nothing to do with tech okay and these are my potentially resting you know thingies that I may or may not sometimes use when I feel like I need to rest. That chair was here for free for me. I love freebie stuff. And this is my actual camera bag, which I should be treating with more um, respect. And now we're gonna go up the stairs. This is Methylin. Guys, this stairs is so dodgy. I'm telling you, so flimsy. In fact, two days ago, I slipped down the stairs and I saw my life flashing in front of me, bruised my knees, bruised my foot, couldn't walk for a couple of days. So now I'm really cautious, okay? And now we're up on my top floor. Let me give you a quick tour first of a like a 180 spin or 360 spin, okay? And I'll explain what's happening here. This is a board I'm supposed to be doing a plan on and following. Not going very well down here. We have some uh, desktops which were given for free. Some of them I had from before. They all potentially can work with a bit of upgrade and TLC if I can turn them into a gaming PC no matter how you know um, low entry or mid entry it is we will do this and together with your help I need your help we will want to do giveaway of these especially if you come over and we'll do it together and do a video okay another light stand uh, some boxes I'm supposed to take away my main PC which is the all in one what is it called the one PC to them all PC yeah and Oops, I may have left a dirty plate here next to some biscuits. That is no good. That's not, that is, you shouldn't be showing this on YouTube, but eh, anyway. Right, as a reminder to you, this is my Tech. This is my main filming area, okay? Three monitors. This is 27 inch BenQ monitor gaming, 144 hertz. Quite decent, bit of an upgrade for me, but I still don't game. 
Just to remind you that uh, today I've created this Facebook page or group rather, which is for troubleshooting and you need to join in because I can't keep responding to the same questions. I need your help. I'm looking for moderators. Link will be in the community post of YouTube and also in this video. And it's also on my story. And that is to do with our troubleshoot series, which we've been doing weekly. So please join us also on Thursdays at 8 p.m. UK time. I will put more uh, reminders for you people. Some acoustic forms, nothing great. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure you've seen it bench before. Uh, some of these boxes have got parts in there, which, you know, again, I'm hoping either I use them, sell them, or give them away for free. And this is meant to be my main bench for doing a lot of the desktop testing, troubleshooting, filming. So if any of you will come over, we're going to be using this place. That is my top-down filming area. We've done a video on this. And under here, one of these computers, this has got a Q6600, which I'm supposed to kind of upgrade it, uh, not upgrade the CPU, but leave the CPU, but put a graphics card, uh, max the RAM, and then return it into a gaming PC to see how it performs in 2020. There is a server computer behind there, which I have not used yet. But anyway, so let's go back down and I'll finish this. And guys, wouldn't that be funny right now? Look at these stairs. This is so dodgy. If I actually fell again, I'm so scared. I mean, I've been here like five months but I never slept. But that is also because I may have taken some medication to help me with some sleep issues, or I may just have sleep because, you know, paying for my sins, who knows. Okay, so we're gonna put this back on the little tripod and I'll finish this off. Let me turn you little tripod and just bear with me. I love these one shot videos. Guys, do you like one shot videos sometimes? Can you let me know in the comments below, okay? And there we go. Oh. Don't think this has locked in properly. I don't think so. I will have to do this again. No, I don't want to do this again. Just bear with me. I'm trying to lock this in. Okay, now it's locked in. Et voila. So, the reason I gave you this tour, I thought it'd be a bit different. Of course, I could have cleaned the whole thing, make it nice and pretty with lights and all this. But you know what? We need more genuine stuff on YouTube. Even if it's ugly genuine. What do you think? More genuine stuff. More genuine stuff. But the reason I showed you is because one of three things. One, I can't keep this place on for too long because it is way too big for me like you've just seen. I mean, I do have projects to upscale, but I cannot keep this by myself under the current conditions because it's a waste of space and I can't afford the rent unless I upscale. So one of three things I will do. One is to rent out the bottom space to other people, uh, maybe as an office space, maybe 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. So you may see some uh, announcements that I will push out. Uh, okay. Two, I may look for some other YouTubers, other content creators, especially who are into producing stuff for online. And we could share this. Again, you'd have to contribute with the rent. The only thing I will tell you, though, that Monday to Friday, next door, the factory, 9 to, no, about 7 to 4, give or take, they do have the machinery on. There is a noise in there. It is a little problem for filming in terms of audio. I do work around it. Sometimes I have no choice. If you do use one of these microphones, the headset one, the ear hook one, it does reduce the background noise. But if you have very sensitive, like microphone uh, tests to do or filming, not the best idea. But you can do it after four and in weekends is fine as well. So if you're looking for a place to start your YouTube stuff, my place is available. You get in touch with me and uh, we can come to some sort of uh, negotiation and help each other out. There, you will have to contribute rent. Or maybe you just have to work for me and I'll give you the place for free. But get in touch if you're looking for somewhere, okay? And the last thing is, depending where I'm going to be putting this video on, if it's for my other channel, Heal My Tej Read, now I'm looking for someone who may be looking for a place to do their tuitions after school or even during weekdays or weekends which is going to do with Arabic and uh, that's to do my other channel. So if it's that, if that's you and you're looking for a place, consider doing that, okay? And that's it. And I think we have, we have, I have one more bonus stuff. Uh, I may soon just go behind the camera and stop producing people. So also, if you 
are looking for someone to help you with the whole production stuff uh, and you just want to be in front of the camera, you've got a message to do or a topic to cover, I'm your guy. And last but not least, that kitchen down there, if things are not working out, since I love to eat and everyone needs to eat, we may be looking at moving to a cooking channel if the tech thing doesn't work out. I'm just saying, um, unless you guys really want me to make one cooking video every week and I'm not a chef, but you know, I make some mean stuff sometimes, very quickly, especially for single people. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. As usual, you know what to do. There are going to be two videos on your screens here. Make sure you watch them to go from newbie to techie. And also, subscribe, click the bell icon, and use my Amazon affiliate link. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.